Greetings, welcome to Go Green with Greg. Today I'm making my Sipes superfood salad. Y'all ready? First, we're gonna destem the kale. Very important to destem your kale because it's just gonna taste better if there's not stems in it. So definitely spend your time getting it right and it's worth it. Take the, uh, you know, the leaves off the stem and you could do something with the stems later as dog treats. So save your stems. Next, you're gonna prepare your garlic. I love garlic, so we're gonna do five cloves. Garlic is good for your blood, it's good for your immune system, it's good for everything. Except maybe being around people that don't like garlic, but Okay. <laughs> you wanna make sure that you take the, um, there's a little stem inside of the garlic you wanna take out because the stem is actually uh, something that causes heartburn, so de-stem your garlic. It'll taste better and you won't get heartburn. And some of them don't even have a stem in them, so don't worry about it. But definitely look, if it's got a stem, get rid of it. Next, we're gonna rock some lemons. For this salad, the size of the kale salad, we're gonna use a half a lemon, a whole half a lemon. Make sure to take the seeds out. Seeds don't taste so good, but it's okay if you wind up with a seed in your salad or two. But try to get rid of the seeds. Squeeze the whole lemon in your salad. Okay. Next, we're gonna add three capfuls of apple cider vinegar. Next, we're gonna put our nama shoyu in, which is basically a fermented soy sauce. There's some great nutritional quality to it. Uh, it's unpasteurized, it means it's raw. And that's what we're going for. We wanna live raw. If you eat life, you live. If you eat death, you're dying. So here we are, putting four capfuls of nama shoyu. I'm gonna show you how to put the nama shoyu on your salad. Next, we're gonna put in our oil. I prefer sunflower seed oil or seed oil over any kind of oil. It's healthiest for you. It tastes amazing. Olive oil is okay, but make sure it's extra virgin. There's a million benefits to sunflower seed oil. For your hair, your skin, your teeth, your organs, the earth, sunflower seed oil is amazing. Don't be sparing with it. This is already smelling so good. I wish you all could smell this. Next, we're gonna add some cayenne pepper. I like my salad spicy. It's up to you, you can put a little or a lot. Then we're adding the superfood turmeric. Turmeric is really good for um, your joints, your muscles, uh, you know, arthritis, all of these things. It, basically, it's kind of a pain reliever, so I like to always put turmeric on basically everything I eat, so turmeric. And it tastes really good. Maybe my favorite thing on planet Earth to eat is blue-green algae. So we're putting spirulina onto this salad, which makes it taste amazing, and it just boosts your nutritional content out of the roof. It becomes really a superfood salad at this point when you add the spirulina. But don't go too much, because then it'll taste like a, a lake. But um, it tastes really good at the right amount. Now, I know you all know about this stuff, and if you don't know, now you know, because I'm showing you. This is nutritional yeast, and it smells so good, it smells like, just like amazing like bread. But it's full of nutrition and it makes your salad and basically everything tastes good. So we're gonna put a whole bunch of nutritional yeast, organic raw nutritional yeast on to the salad. You can get nutritional yeast basically anywhere. Um, definitely online, you can order it from a whole bunch of places, but you can get it at Whole Foods, you can get it at Era One, you can get it anywhere. And um, it's awesome. And I would say about three tablespoons would be adequate. And you could always add more after if you want a more cheesy flavor to your kale salad. We're just gonna put a pinch of sea salt because we already did Nama show you, which is very um, salty. So uh, now I'm gonna show you how to put some sea salt, just a little bit of sea salt. Sea salt also has a ton of nutritional um, content to it, uh, minerals. It's something that's lacking in most food that we eat because the soil is depleted of minerals and sea salt basically remineralizes whatever you're eating. So you don't want to overdo it, but adding sea salt uh, or Himalayan sea salt to your food is always a, a good thing to do. Finally, we're gonna massage the kale. One of my favorite parts. When you're massaging, you really want to put your love and intent into your massage. You know, like you're massaging your lover. 
you can't over massage, but the more you massage it, the softer the salad's gonna be. And basically what you're doing when you're massaging is you're, you're basically creating an assimilation of all the ingredients you put in there and it, it just smells amazing. It feels really good on your hands. It really is what makes the Sipes Superfood Salad very unique is the, the merger of all these ingredients. So easy, so simple. And you know, you get to give somebody a massage even if it's kale. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands and then there's one last ingredient which is the icing on the cake. The avocado. Avocado is the best fat you can have. It tastes amazing and it's good for you and adding avocado is the icing on the cake. Thanks for watching this episode of Go Green with Greg. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. And next week, join me for another Go Green with Greg where I'm gonna be sharing another brand new, fresh, yummy rest. Ah! Okay. And next week, join me for another Go Green with Greg where I'm gonna be sharing another brand new, fresh, yummy, vegan, raw recipe with y'all. Peace, love, and animals.